Mr. Gong Shu. Oh, are you guys Cloud Knights? Are you here to save us? Your clothes. I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> General Jing Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. You mean the General invited you? Is that a joke? The Lafu has the Cloud Knights. Why would he send outsiders? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. It was way too dangerous in there. Please, if you plan on living a little longer, don't go in there. There's been some kind of botanical disaster. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere suddenly started to grow. There were branches so thick you couldn't put your arms around them. It spread everywhere. The whole commission is being destroyed. I don't get it. The Artisanship Commission focuses on the mechanical. We've got nothing to do with hydroponics or accelerated growth. Where did that thing come from? The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Why did he run back in? Is research data more important than life? I just heard him shout, it's gone. We lost the furnace. By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Anyway, you said you're here to help us, right? 100%. The General sent us. Uh, you don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. In that case, take this Jade Seal with you. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound, if anything happens to him. Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Botanical disaster? It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But what about the furnace his master mentioned? The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. Upon commission grounds, your feet do tread. Leave from whence you came, or soon be dead. Dead! Stay away! If you come any further, I'll not spare you. Golden Cloud Toad, Illumination Dragonfish. <laughs> Are you all right? Wake up. I raise you like my own flesh and blood. <gasps> Did you really have to destroy my little friends? I want compensation. You didn't want to listen to us. We were here to rescue you, and you started a fight for no reason. Uh, how do you know my name, child? 
does the reputation of Gong Shu Liang, the smelter extraordinaire, proceed one? <sighs> this guy's pretty deluded for a master. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gong Shu. R really? The General sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The Artisanship Commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most precious possession, the Creation Furnace. It's a dark and powerful entity. The robots, it was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it. I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. But then, I couldn't just run away, knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. <laughs> I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the Artisanship Commission from this crisis. Means I know of may yet serve your fight. Pray you in repayment, aid my plight. <laughs> come, come on, <laughs> through here. Look, this is one of the Artisanship Commission's prototypes. The shifting screen. <laughs> Good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. Otherwise, they'd never have managed to get out in time. You all saw the Jade Gate on your way in, I assume. The shifting screen works in the same way. It connects two spatial coordinates in ways that laymen <laughs> wouldn't understand. Indeed, with limited range and energy costs aside, to every star skiff soon shall woe be tied. You sure about that? Even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Ordinarily, I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither. But through earth and air, the wretched branches boiled. The shifting screen entangled vents and coiled. How observant. You would make an excellent student. The commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. Ah! Oh, piteous tree, who think thyself so strong, your match and more in strength to meet ere long. This is the first thing that came to mind when the tree demon attacked. It's a mechanical device codenamed the Illumination Chest. I invented this weapon for the Cloud Knights. It's incredibly powerful, but... Uh... Let me guess. Limited range? Energy costs? <laughs> Every light has its shadow. But this is more than enough to deal with the Tree Demon. And then... Ignite! Fire beats wood! There's no way we can lose! Very good! The Master reveals the door, but the Apprentice must walk through it! You're much better than my useless students. What's happening? Is the Delve collapsing? Seems like it worked. That tree demon must be writhing in pain. All right. 
There's no time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back. Oh, look, the ambrosial arbor's roots. Oh, they've uncoiled the Artisanship Commission's most precious invention, the Creation Furnace. Help me, dear young friends. Let's hack them away together. We can't let the roots punch through the furnace. Careful, it's changing. <laughs> Incredible power. Time to twirl. No matter how much damage we do, it just heals itself. Not fair. We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me. The Sienjo is so scared of the abominations of abundance. They're unstoppable. Miss Ting Yun, are the long life species on the Sienjo all like this? I'm afraid this Ebon Deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosial Arbor as its guardian. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Sienjo don't have abilities like this. Huh? As long as it's there, we can't get any closer. I wonder... The Evan Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Uh, yeah! It can't heal if we take out the source, right? The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. So the General asked you to head to the Alchemy Commission, hmm? Ah, the Artisanship Commission had no choice but to halt operations once the Tree Demon appeared. Young friends, I have a suggestion. Why don't we... Any thoughts, Master Gongshu? Hmm... When the deer revives, the surrounding roots glow brightly. Oh, great observation, Mr. Gongshu. It's amazing what you notice when you're not fighting. <laughs> I'm only an artisan, after all. My skills in Clash of Swords shall find no sake. Yet, that which clasheth needeth hands to make. As Mr. Yang said, the deer monster is likely drawing power from somewhere in order to replenish itself. I'm certain that when the arbor glows, we are witnessing that very process. Precisely. You remember how we untangled the shifting screen with fire? Well, you're right. Those roots never grew back. Not only that, its reaction suggested we'd hurt it. Perhaps that's our starting point. Take hold of your weapons, young comrades. Let's raise these roots to the ground! See? My theory was correct! Keep going! I don't think we're in a position to take down this deer until we've dealt with its regenerative abilities. Uh, quick! There's more roots over here! Give me a moment. I'll set up the device. <sighs> I guess 
wish were done. I suspect the Ambrosial Arbor's root system must have spread far underground. The only thing we can say with confidence is that we removed the majority of those within the bounds of the Artisanship Commission. Let's hurry, before they have a chance to grow back. So, the next step is... Ah, uh, let's go. Look! The roots coiled around the Creation Furnace! They've withered! Excellent! Nothing can stop you now! General Jingyuan said the Ambrosial Arbor was an unfathomable, celestial blessing. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, but the ability to heal such grave wounds in an instant... I think I finally understand why the Xianzhou decided to follow the hunt in eradicating the abundance. If. Immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe. Entire ecosystems would collapse. No wonder the people of the Sienjo wander the universe, never settling on a planet. You are a man of vision, Mr. Yang. It's a shame our ancestors, the Elixir Seekers, were unable to see that hidden curse 8,000 years ago. Perhaps some of them did reject the Plague Author's gift. But how could an entire civilization resist the temptation of immortality? <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? The wise are buried while the fools remain immortal. The Sienjo regrets being led astray by the Abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission, to the Ambrosial Arbor. After witnessing what happened here, I know there will only be more danger ahead. Go, friends, and stay vigilant. I wish you a safe journey. <laughs>